Watch your fingers. Yep, it came off there, didn't it? There's still one bolt in it, so. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be heavy. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> I gotta get, move my hand from the pinch point area. Oh my. Yeah, okay, so I'm it. going to. Oh my God. You want me to just wrench that loose? Cause it's gonna, I think it's gonna go you know that way. Do? All right. uh, if I pull back I on this, it'll help. I was gonna look for something I can stick in between. Mm-hmm. You know, like. Mm -hmm. Or I'm just afraid it's gonna fall. Yeah, there you go. Who cares about my gun? I don't. I can move this back and forth a little. It's and hold it. Do with that ratchet. Uh, it's up there. Hang on, I laid it down. I laid it down over there. Hands clear. Wouldn't have been so bad if they hadn't put that flange in there to that brace. It was Johnny Engineer. This isn't in there very far, so I'm gonna keep my hands clear as best I can. Toes too. And Johnny, he he engineers a lot of stuff. He's just is completely screwed. God, I only put it in there with my fingers just a little bit. Now we're free. Oh, there was engine weight sitting on it. Oh, now we got a water leak. Oh my God, what are we gonna do? Now that bolt, there's nothing sticking out gonna get punched a oh, generator winding or anything. No, I pulled it out. It's good. Nothing. I think we're good. Is, oh no, it is in there. Okay. That was, so that can stay there for right now. Yeah. We'll now, out. now we should be able to get the engine out. Was a pretty spill this and we any freeze all over the place. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't spill a drop. So I can, I'm gonna have to level the engine out a yeah. little bit. Just a little. <laughs> oh, that was good. Go until the water cut stops flowing. Yeah, that makes it a little easier too, because we don't have that big flange hanging on the back end of it. Yeah, oh, that'll make it so much easier. easier. Okay, I'm gonna start inching it up. It's gonna be kind of dicey when we get to where this hits here and the bottom of the engine we're gonna have to take that front motor mount off I think it's a brand new cable on that sucker Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, it's got to rotate toward you, doesn't it? Yeah, um, it, it kind of gets dicey when you rotate them. Sometimes it gets in a bind, but I'll do it. In, I'll do that. That's that's pretty good, actually. The who? Chain yeah, that chain. So, here's where we start the tilt action. Sometimes it doesn't work out too good, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down with the hoist, up with the boom, bring it forward, we're hitting. Up with the, I'm in a really bad pinch point right here. Yeah, I don't like you in there. I don't like you. Okay, I'm getting out of here. And I'm gonna move to the I'm gonna move to the ladder. Did you make this? Yeah. I had to, they wouldn't buy it. So I spent eight hours building it. Something they could have bought for 
I wonder how, I don't know how far we can spin this thing around. Every time I do this, it's like a kid on a monkey on a on a jungle gym. I can go back a little bit. I'm going to go up a tiny bit because I'm hung up here. Boom. Down for carefully. Up, hoist. Boom, down. There we go. Hoist to my way. What are we hang? Are we hung on? Okay, no, we're good. Oh, that, that feels better. Yeah, it looks good right here. Um, I'm on the shroud in the corner here. Okay. What is it? Just the. Uh, it just wedged between the alternator and the. There. I think it, it just I wonder if we should the, take that alternator off. Or just loosen it and slide it. Yeah. I think on 15 I usually take that whole exhaust section off of there, you know, but but this one probably been on there a while. I could take that arm off too. I got this arm loose. I could take it all the way out. I might. I think I'll do that. Now we just gotta tighten this up. Okay. That's as far as it's gonna go anyway. Alright. I'm taking the arm loose at this end. That will make things a little easier. I don't know if it'll get us past The back of the engine. Okay, when you tell me I can do something, I'll, I'll do something. I'm not going to do anything until then. That's how. That's how people get hurt. Usually at the at the movement of another person. You know what I mean? Whether that's going to help us or not, I don't know because I got to get it away from that wall over there. It's going to hang up over there. Yeah, we made, uh, we that's why the t turning them sometimes doesn't doesn't work. But yeah, like you said, we may have to pop this. Will be easy, but it looks like it's hung. There's something hung right in this corner. I don't yeah, know. I got to get it free of that. Bolt sticking out there. Or? 
Yeah, there's what's got us right there. So I gotta get up. Oh look, a socket. Okay, I'm gonna, when I push out, I'm gonna go up. Yeah, they're out of there. Gotta get lots of room until the engine mount gets there. The engine mount will fuck us next. No, we're clear. Once we get over that, I think we'll be we'll be in the happy zone. There we go. And I'm gonna get out of the way. Yeah, now you're really in the fight. <laughs> Got lots of cable <laughs> yeah it's a brand new cable uh, I wound it on a few months ago now they're getting rid of the truck yeah okay now this is working out very well Now if I boom if I boom up a little bit, yeah, yeah, I'm going boom, I'm going boom, which will take us forward and up. And I'll, I'll huh? And now I can clear the top of the radiator. I'm gonna boom up a little. My outriggers are no, there's no dents in the ground, it's good solid ground. It's hard to imagine because three months ago if you'd done that it would have sucked the whole truck in the ground. <laughs> I think we're high enough. What I'm gonna do is set it right in this pit right here. And once I get it there and lined up with the side of the truck, I can actually drive forward with it and then I can get it up. Well, I could probably, I could probably set it in the back of the truck right now. That's probably what I ought to do. Let me open that. I'm gonna open that lid here. Okay. Ah. Yes, sir. It's a uh I've, I've got a uh, an N14 engine at the at the top telescoping height of my uh, crane mast right now with the Laterno engine over the top of the Laterno. It's about about 25 feet in the air, full size 855. So what what's up? No, uh, we uh, I I sat on the barring wrench and then I hit it with a starter remote switch and it it, it crept about you know. 
probably a couple of degrees every time I hit the starter and I was able to get a full rotation and get all the bolts. So, yeah. Okay. Um, and it, it was it was in where was it? Oh. See, I'm trying to think. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you know what? that's the old one and the the new pump came with a new one and I put the new one on that's the old one that should go back with the old pump I'm sorry I, I'm sorry to cause any consternation and <laughs> yeah I, I remember now that I didn't pick that up and take it with me yeah you there yeah okay yeah yeah that yeah that's yeah yeah the new one and so i used the new one to put on the new pump and the uh, old one used to go with the core pump and i didn't i didn't get it okay yeah i'll get it from you or uh yeah okay yeah okay well i got a three thousand pound weight on my crane i'm gonna I'm going to start devoting my attention to that. Thank you, sir, and uh, thanks. It's been a pleasure working with you as always. Bye. I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> a big thing like that, they tend to bounce when they yeah, fall. They hit, they go bang, boom, especially on this solid ground we got. <coughs> kind of rubberized. The further I come in with that boom, the safer we are. The first time I saw Ron Dawkins do this, it freaked me out. Let it tick the ladder. I hit it again. I better, next time it's going to hit the light, I'm not going to let that happen. My thermos tipped over.
Now I gotta lift it up off my tool bucket. Nope. But I could I couldn't get my tool bucket out from under it either. Uh oh. I think I'll level, I'll level it out with that gun. <clears throat> Get out of the pinch point. I'm really happy right about now. <sighs> There's a bucket up there. Oh my. As the coolant spills. Oh my god, you're not spilling more coolant, are you? That's all right, it's running out the bottom, we're good. We don't have an environmental guy. Why, because it was cost too much money? Yeah, they couldn't afford to pay him, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah right well I think I think I could probably drive back with it like this probably a sitting on a block in the front though